Hello folks, today we are going to reinstall a shield case. The shield case on this iPad 7th Gen is a shield extreme case part number AP-SXX-IP7-19-BLK and I will obviously link that down below. Um, the the iPad has uh, been used by kindergartners for about eight months now, and as you can see, it's still in really, really good shape. I did clean it off for a little bit, but as we get into installing it, I'm going to show you first what you're going to do is line up the top and bottom, obviously, um, and as my fingers just pointed out, um, you're going to loop it around the top of the iPad from front to back, just like I'm doing right now. And then line up the back from top to bottom. And it's easier if you do get the four corners on first, like you'll see here in a second. And when you get these four corners on, just go around and get the flip the lip over from the back to the front. And this is probably one of the easier iPad cases to put on. It's pretty simple. And now I'm just going to check out to see, make sure everything lines up. And it did. So it's pretty a pretty simple iPad case to put on. Make sure that the touch still works, and it did. Now here's the issue that we come into with this iPad. is It was used by kindergartners, so the stand does work pretty well. But as you'll see, I think what they did is they put they moved the iPad upside down and just kind of laid it flat there, not knowing which way was the correct way to lay the iPad. So there's the correct way. And then as you flip it over, there's the wrong way. And so it kind of gets loose, <clears throat> kind of gets loose uh, when you when you lay that flat when you when you lay the uh, stand flat as you can see like that but other than that it's a really good case we've had really good luck with them over the over the past eight or nine months <clears throat> over the past eight or nine months so I want to thank you guys obviously like and subscribe 